Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm very sad. So that's why I decided to make a video about sad. Oh my god, that was so bad. Sorry for that. So let me go to this directory which is in code sad. So I have this file here fsf and let me show you what this file is. So it's fsf and it's just lyrics of some song. And what we are going to do is we are going to use sad and I'm going to teach you some cool stuff about sad. For example, if I just want to print one line, uh, for example, uh, this is a line which I want to print. So it's the fourth line. So what I can do is I can use sad hyphen n hyphen n is not going to do any automatic printing and then 4p so 4p is just going to print fourth line so here you can see we are getting our fourth line so how cool is that now let's look at this file again so now suppose i want to change this word software but only for the lines which start with join so there are a lot of lines with software in it for example this line contains software but i just want to change software for the lines which start with join so we can do this by writing a regular expression so whatever starts with join and this is how you will write the regular expression the caret symbol means the starting of the line we just want to change it change the software to malware okay fsf.txt and don't get confused with these you know delimiters you have to put in the proper places uh, when you are writing a regular expression you have closed it in middle of these you know forward slashes so here you can see that we got malware here but here our software is safe okay so there is no replacement in this line now suppose I just want to do some change but I want my changes to start after this line okay so all this section should get changed so for example I want to change hackers to some noobs or something else but not for here so we can do this with said after fifth line to the end of the file I want to change hackers to noobs and this fsf.txt and here you can see that our hackers is changed to noob but here everything is secure there is no change in this section here now suppose I just want to delete all the lines which is start with join word okay so what we can do is we can type set and then whatever start with join so this is the regular expression we have to type and make sure to write in middle of the delimiter we can type d to delete the line so fsf.txt and here you can see we got rid of all the lines which is started with join and suppose if you just want to delete these empty lines well again you can use the power of regular expression instead of join if we type this dollar symbol it basically means that line start and end and there is nothing in middle and let's press enter and you can see that we got rid of all the empty lines and this is not so clean now suppose if I just want to print this section which starts from when and ends with this ever line so what we can do is we can use set and one thing you have to keep in mind if you want to control what set will print you always have to pass this hyphen n which is just going to stop any kind of automatic printing and then we're going to pass this capital e in order to give some regular expression so let's do this like whatever starts with uh, when and comma whatever ends with ever uh, we just want to print it and fsf.txt and you can see we are getting our four lines which we wanted and now let me quickly tell you a really cool stuff about said which you might don't know okay so suppose if i just want to you know substitute from hackers to noobs and let's do fsf.txt so it's changed but instead of using these forward slash you can also use these uh, hashtags okay and it still works which is kind of like your whole life was a lie you can also use at the rate here and it's still going to work so it's kind of weird but yeah it, it works and this is how said works and in case if you don't know all of these change are temporary by the way so here you can see that original file doesn't have any kind of change which is also pretty weird but yeah this is how said works and it works fine okay. in order to do some permanent change you have to you know pass hyphen i and when you press enter there is no output but now if i do uh, you know get fsf txt so our hackers are changed to noobs and this is a permanent change to the file and not some temporary output suppose you want to print the file until you find some pattern what you can do is so for example this piles here so i just want to use set until i find piles and i will type q so what q will do is it's going to stop printing the moment it find the piles suppose if i have some file blah 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 and some file dot txt and i just want to insert this blah 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 into this fsf.txt after the fourth line so what i can do is i can use 4 r to write and then you know file.txt and again fsf.txt so here you can see after the 
fourth line we got a blah 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 which is so cool and you can also write a change into a file so for example i got this uh, some lines here for example join us now and share the software and what i want to do is i want to change this join to coin okay so let's use said and uh, instead of forward slash this uh, this time i'm just going to use some you know something else because i told you that you can use whatever you want so this is to this fsf.txt so here you can see that join is changed to coin and i just want to write all these changes somewhere in a file so uh, let's just do write and then you know some.txt so it's a file which is not present right now but if i press enter so and do ls so we got this file some.txt and if i get this so here you can see that we got all the changes so this is pretty useful by the way suppose if you're changing in a huge file you can you know create a new you know file in order to check what changes you did and you can do a lot more for example if you just want to add some extra space or extra line after some pattern so for example every time i see this pattern join i just want to add some extra space so i can do this join uh, let's just put this carrot so it will be starting and I just want to put some extra space so let's just do capital G for that and press enter so every time it find this pattern it's just going to add some extra line in the bottom of this line okay so this is pretty useful now suppose if you just want to print every second line of the file you can again use said and I told you that every time if it's something printing related you always have to provide hyphen n because hyphen n is just going to stop automatic printing of all the lines okay so here one and then you know two so I don't know what why this syntax of why like what this do but you know what it's just going to print every second line of the file now one more important thing is suppose if you just want to delete some line for example I just want to delete this fourth line so what I can do is I can use said and then just delete tenth line not ten fourth okay so fsf.txt press enter and now there is no fourth line and if you just want to delete from first to fourth you can also do this so let me clear the screen and do it again so here you can see that we are not getting any one to fourth line and suppose if you just want to delete from fourth line to the end of the file so you can also do this okay so from fourth line to the end of the file everything is deleted and instead of using these you can also put some regular expression so for example anything which jo start with join and anything which you know and with join let's just try to delete this i don't know how this is going to react all right so it works okay so the line above this must have contained join in the start and the line below it must have contained join in the start so that's why we got this so said have a lot of stuff in it and there are a lot of things you can do i can't teach you all of this and to be honest it's all come down to some logic so when you understand that d is for deleting and p is for printing and every time you use p you have to type hyphen n and these kind of stuff is something you need to understand you have to understand when you have to put the comma and give some parameters and stuff like that so it's it's really good to practice these kind of tools so you can understand more and it's also very good to support content creators who make videos about said so yeah just you know like share subscribe and right na 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 when i popped off then your goal gave me just a little bit of luck dough baby so cold he from the north he from the